Hey guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for putting up with, I don't know what type of lighting. I've got a little bit of a lamp going here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Had a little bit of a lamp going there. And um, another lamp behind me. So I, co I hope we can see fairly well here. And, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think that'll be all right. All right, so we have a jewelry jar. I was not expecting to do this right now, honestly, because we had gotten these. My son got me some jars. My son and my daughter-in-law got me some jars the other day, about a month ago. And uh, we had tried. We had been trying to figure out how he was going to ship them because, you know, they can get fairly heavy. Mm. What in the world? Why is this? Mm. What? In the <laughs> how is that happening? Oh my gosh, I think somebody's sending me a message. Anyway, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We're doing a jar. I want you to tell me which one do you want me to open because I got about five of them. Um, and I'm I was going to only open one. So I'm only going to open one. I'm so excited. Anyway, he said, Mom, it's your birthday. So here, they're yours now instead of shipping and whatnot. So he was. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. So I actually wound up getting some um, wonderful birthday presents, five jewelry jars. They're very, very inexpensive here at the place that they get them in Chicago. Very much reasonably priced compared to Houston. This one was priced $19.51. And then this other one, why is this thing buzzing? Oh, my gosh. I thought I had it off. Okay, now it's on. My phone is buzzing and knocking itself off. And that, that's what I'm using as a spotlight, guys. Crazy. Okay, here's the other one. I love these because these usually have the poles. You can tell they're pulled directly from the shelf. So they still have their little price tags and everything. So I'm excited about that one. So tell me if you want me to do the one with the price tags or this other one that just has a whole bunch of random stuff. One was 19 and one was 14. Or tell me 14 or 19. And I'll do that one. And then I'm going to save this one for later. This one is, is small, but it's sterling silver. And I'll probably do this one later on this week. $14, guys, for a little rolled up bag of goodies with sterling. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me see who's here. Say hello to a couple of people. Hi, Cassandra. Also, the the camera i don't know i haven't used a laptop camera with the without a mic in a while so it might be a little weak on the audio too i will try to speak up but the kids are napping well the baby's napping the five-year-old just has a little quiet time in her room so i'm going to try to get this done kathy's here cassandra kathy g and Deborah, thank you guys so much. Be sure and give it a thumbs up as you walk in the door. If you're new to the channel, guys, we do jewelry jars. These are totally mystery. These are not ordered, curated by anyone on eBay, especially for me or any of that. These are total, just straight from the thrift stores. And I love getting them here in Chicago because, I mean, I have found everything from, I found an Hermes bracelet that was actually broken and it's just gold tone. It was gold tone and it had a little piece of the mother of pearl chipped off of it. And I still sold it for over $70. So, and lots of vintage Mexican jewelry has come out of these as well. So, oh, am I excited? The one on the left, would that be, that's my right, this big one. Okay. All right, I got one vote. <laughs> I got one vote. Yeah, they're very inexpensive compared to what I'm paying, 80 40 is the cheapest I'm paying nowadays in in, uh, Houston. $40 is the cheapest. I used to be able to get the $20, $25 jars, even as early as last year, but now it's like a thing of the past, guys. I know, I'm going to still cut it even though it's got a stapler because I don't want to mess up my finger or my nail polish that I just did. Oh, let me show you the rings I'm wearing because we did want to talk about those. I'm wearing my smoky Topaz ring my signet ring, my other signet ring. And this is beautiful. What did, I think Sandy said it was a grapefruit garnet or something, I forgot. But it's one of the prettiest rings I've ever seen. And I got that at one of Sandy's auctions. Hi, Perla. All right, let's see what's in this one. So this is the one that doesn't have all of those brooches. That other one is, I can tell it's full of brooches. Another thing I kind of like about their bags is they're always loose. So you can actually see some of the stuff that's in there. Like we already saw some mother of pearl 
and even some ivory. I think this is the one that has a piece of ivory in it. Ooh, these are cute. And then my daughter-in-law and I were just kind of looking through them. She's fascinated by what I find in them. And she says, "Is are those pearls? And um, she was also noticing that some of the price tags said like 87 cents. So you could tell they were like from the 70s or something. Or maybe even older than that. This is really cute, guys. This looks like a little chain, but they're actually stiff. They're double dangles. They definitely look vintage. They say Rembrandt. Look at the name on that. Can you see that? They're pretty and sparkly and very light. I like those. Oh, thank you, Rosie. I used to have this top in another color, too. I don't know if I still do. No, I think I stained it. I had it in lime. Okay, these are clips. These are regular $10. Wow. So they have like a bow. And then they have like, you know what? This isn't, this is like that stuff they make your, your bath sponges with now, your little bath poofs. That's what that is. Isn't that interesting? Thank you again, guys, for being here. So yeah, total mystery jars. If you love looking at jewelry and especially the ones that you don't know what to expect, this is your channel. So be sure and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. This one is like threaded, guys. They're 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 not they're not clip. They are post, and this has like basically like a fabric or a threading of some kind. They almost really do look like buttons. They really, really do. Yeah, isn't that a beautiful garnet ring? It's it's kind of big on me sometimes, but some days it fits, so I love it. And it's uh, it's got like a gold around it, and the beads are also kind of gold. But I think it's just a wash on the gold. I don't think it's a, a carrot because it's not um, it's not marked. It's only marked sterling. These are cute. I'm really taken to wearing the multiples now. Those are cute. They're just a little gold colored stud on that. Very cute. Those are new in the package. Where in Chicago? Um, I'm not sure. I believe we're close to, because um, I'm not very good at maps. <laughs> I believe we're close to Wrigley Field, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure. And we just, my husband said he would try to get me to a thrift store today. They're open till nine. Oh, this one's broken, but whoa, there it went. This needs to be glued back, guys. It totally fell off of here. That's going to require some better glue. Those are cute, though. They're like little door knockers. And see, this part came out, and now the other part came off. So they need to be re-glued to the little stud there. This bag, what did we say? This is the more expensive one. This was $19.51. $19, so not bad at all. And let's see what else is in here. I like the way they put things in little baggies too. You can tell, you guys, I have taken you live from there and I may go live if we go today or tomorrow, or I may record depending on how loud the music is. But um, they're so crowded with their jewelry that this is why they very likely do jewelry jars and then just pull them right out of the counters because you can't even see them. You literally have to tell them, can you turn that one over? Can you just pull everything out that I can't see because it's underneath two piles of other packs of jewelry and brooches, honestly. It's fantastic. Those are two pairs of jewelry, two pairs of earrings that were in there. These are little posts. They kind of look marled. Like a mar like a marble design, but they're plastic. What's that? Oh, these are enameled. Let me pull a little bit out so you guys can see what I'm looking at too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, these are awesome. Look at these humongous earrings, guys. <laughs> these are cute. And the design is so different. Those are, those, yeah, look, you can see them from my ears all the way there. These are long. And they're wood. They're really nice. I like these. I like these a lot. Okay, here's some rose silk. 
This might be the earring bag. And I think the other one is brooches. Because I'm seeing lots of earrings here. These are also kind of an embroidery thread all around them. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, look at these. Guys, I found some of these. I think you might have seen them. Or maybe they'll come up in one of the recorded videos that I'll probably upload tomorrow. Where they were from, oh, I forget. Kenneth Cole, I think. And they were metal. They were really cute with all of that psychedelic coloration there. Here's a, just a little piece that came off. <laughs> No, I wish I had time for auction. No, I'm just taking a little respite right now. The kids are, so otherwise it's just been time with them, you know, enjoying the heck out of that for sure. These are some more little tiny studs. So cute, gold tone. Just little rhinestone studs. Oh, my gosh. I thought this was a brooch for sure. That is an earring. This is t totally, what, 90s? Got to be 90s. And it's like a tortoise shell with a leopard or tiger. No, it's a tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Would mm -hmm. you stop with the messages? Whoever's messaging me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. More little studs, posts. i never gotten so many messages in my life. What is this? This looks like a flag. It says, ca con I don't know. It looks almost like a little nation flag or something don't you think mm. they were 199 at one mm. time oh my gosh i wish people would not do that but they don't know i'm live so it's not their fault let me fix that it's knocking my little spotlight out of the okay these are wood they're green Pinky ones. Aren't they cute? I think they're amazing. Yeah, I will. And look at these. These are vintage, too. I can tell sometimes by the little kinds of hooks they use. These are like really small hooks. And this is like a bugle bee. Oh, hi, Kathy. I'm so glad you're here. These are little... Okay, what is this? I think it's a mouse. He's an angel, and he's dangling in the middle of a hoop. Isn't that insane? <laughs> so funny. Okay. And sorry about all the interruptions, guys. I'm just trying to do it on the fly today without all my fancy lights and everything. This is nice, too. They're kind of like a bead ball dangle there. <laughs> yes. Lots of jewelry surrounding me and three more awesome bags. I'm, I was so excited. And he just gave them to me today. My birthday was yesterday. <laughs> we were pretty busy yesterday. We made birthday cakes, and it was fun. These have also become unglued. And we were trying to figure out what these were because they say 200. So I was telling my daughter-in-law, maybe they were like a, a Girl Scout project or a marathon someone ran or some kind of a, you know, a race. I don't know. But they came off. They have to be re-glued on there. That's interesting. Though. Thank you so much, Rosie. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, this looks like a 14 karat gold fill post. Is this? It's a green stone, guys. I don't think it's jade. It's only one, though. So it probably fell in the bag. Lots of things fell in the bag. Oh, these are those interchangeable ones. Remember, I found some little um, hoops that you can put in there. And I think I only had a couple that were matched. They were lapis and jade, and then you can just interchange them. These are actually pierced, and you just kind of dangle that little, not like a door knocker style, but they do like semi-precious stones for them. These are little pearls and discs right here. Those are nice and lightweight. More 80s. Oh, look, I think this is a store. Wasn't there a store called Tempo? These were $7.50 at one time. They feel like ceramic. I think they might be ceramic. And here's the other one. Definitely needs repair. <laughs> For sure. Here's some wood. I think these are the coconut 
shell, very lightweight. And they have that nice woody look to them. Yeah, this is the earring bag, guys. It's all about earrings. Nice. Enamel. Black. Those are cool. Ooh, these are pretty too. Fashion earrings. Hot pink fuchsia. This is the color of lipstick I'm always on the hunt for. I did find some on Amazon. They've been um, pretty good. They've been a hit so far. These are tiny ones. They say they are for sensitive ears. And these, what is it? This were made in Massachusetts. So these are vintage too. So it says in the back, lifetime guarantee against sensitivity. Teeny little garnet colors. So cute. Let me see what else we have. These are all individually packaged. Some of these are made in Taiwan. So these are definitely vintage as well. And they are ceramic, white. No, these are enameled. Look, they're even coming up. Getting a little chip right there. They're enameled. Thank you, Sanja. I appreciate it. My birthday was fabulous. The kids and I made a cake together. Oh, these are cute, guys. These say Puccini. They are very, I wish I had my loop because I can't tell what they are. They almost look like a religious symbol. Can you guys see? Is it an angel or an Asian girl? A geisha or something? They're cloisonne. They're pretty studs. But one time they were $3. These are super vintage. Look at those price tags. These are awesome. Can you guys see those? Really nice. I love these. They have green and blue. She's holding some kind of staff or something. Oh, man, these are nice. Yeah, I like those. These are coming apart. There's some little beads. These. these are big. These are some kind of ceramic too or porcelain and they have gold and silver painting on them. So 80s, right? I would say these are 80s for sure. Thanks guys for hitting that thumbs up. Looks like 85 people are here. Thank you so much. Don't forget to also subscribe and hit the bell for all videos so you can be notified when I go live like I am right now. Or when I put up a new video, which I'm going to do this week because I have a lot of them videotaped. These are awesome. These are also vintage. They even have the store name in the back. Are these strawberries? And they're enamel. And they have that old-fashioned type of really, I wish they would do more of these kind of hooks because they don't fall off. You can hook them on. Oh, no, they're not strawberries. They're roses. Gold-filled wires and Schultz Brothers is the name of the store, Schultz Brothers, $1 at one time. Or maybe they were higher, $150. Looks like they even put them for $0.88. Cents. Oh, these are cute. Yes, yes. Yesterday was my birthday, Dawn. Thanks for being here, Dawn. How are you? Yeah, my daughter's been telling me all about Leo's. Oh, these are con Contempo. Contempo or Contempo? That's another very vintage brand. You can tell the little velvet backs and the price tags and everything on some of these. This is a post earring. I'm sure the other one's in there somewhere. Looks like something that belongs on a dress, right? On a wedding dress. <laughs> oh, really? My, uh, my cousin's daughter is on that day, too. So we always get the same Facebook notifications. <laughs> these are clips, little beads. Thank you so much, Dawn. Thank you. I am um, really quite happy that we came to Chicago. We drove over here. We had a great little road trip. And we'd probably make it a two-day on the way back and spend the night in Tennessee or somewhere. I think it'll be fun. Got some loose beads here, guys. Um, oh, these are those ones that kind of... Remember, sometimes they're made like little tigers and things. Or other animals are kind of separated. Angles. This is just some kind of abstract enameling on that. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it feels awesome. It feels awesome to be 21. My daughter just turned 21. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, they, we do get a match on these. These are cute. They really are. So we got two of those. And then these, I believe, are also interchangeable, guys. So there's two packages, two colors in there in the package. They're purple. I think they're wood. Let me open these up. Thanks, guys, so much for being here. I hope your weekend went nicely. And nobody got some of that storm. We got some rain, but nothing really major in Houston. Look at these. These are truly acrylic buttons, guys. But they're not buttons, but they're like, look, they're like oh, kind of multidimensional there. And then I guess you change them through the hook there. Pink and purple is what I have here. So that's really interesting. Hey, Treasure Hustlers, how you doing? So the storm did not touch us, but there was some damage in the valley in Texas around that area. And we got just a little bit of rain. Oh, we got some mermaids in the house. Who doesn't love her? Look at, is it Ariel? I hope we get her partner, though. Her mate. Herself. Oh, this one. Okay, we were looking at this, and we thought it was a pendant. It's a fish, and it was on another little, it was on its pa on its packaging, which was also vintage. Oh, I really hope we find it. That is, look at that fish, guys. He's like super shiny. But if we don't, he'd still make a nice pendant, right? There we go, here. There we go. We shall see. Yeah, he'd make a very nice pendant with that hidden veil. Love it. Oh, look at these. These are cloisonne. I was ex also explaining to my daughter-in-law about cloisonne. And she's not a real jewelry person, but she did say, hey, if those pearls are real, can I have them? And I said, I'm not sure if they are, but I have tons of pearls. And if you'll let me send them to you, I will. And she said, okay, look at these guys. I think these have to have a post. These are cloisonne. And they are vintage. And they have to have the post to go in there. So I could use those little gold ones that we saw first off or diamond studs or anything like that that you could have. Look, is that not darling? It's a little bigger than a hugger. That is really nice. And it's got butterflies and flowers and that lovely blue. Oh, those are awesome. I like those a lot. They were on this little styrofoam thing, and we do have both of them. We just need to put the little stud backs on them. Yeah, those are cute. So I hope nobody else got the brunt of that storm, that hurricane. These are little enamel, enamel studs also, kind of beige, pierced. Very cool. I don't know what this is. Probably a shower curtain ring or something. You know, they always throw in some junk just to keep us on our toes. Okay, we got some parrots or whatever. Just in time for that drinking party you need to go to. Don't we all need to go to one of those? Yes, we do. All right, this is awesome. It lights up. It's an earring. It's for St. Patty's Day. There's one earring so far, but maybe the other one's in there. Yeah, I think I see it. Here it is. Nice. They're still working. Is this one working too? Okay, this one's on the blank. What the other one's working? No, kind of like you are when you're, when you're a little tipsy, right? One side of the brain's working, the other one's not. Okay. We got some hearts, clip on hearts. These are cute. A little lattice design there. It's still blinking. <laughs> You could also make that one a pendant. Here are some silver 14 karat gold posts. Sterling silver 14 karat. Okay, what does that mean? Does it mean that the balls are, are sterling and then the posts are 14 karat? That's awesome. Right? Isn't that what it says? Look. And those are big. Those are really big. Look. See on my hands? That's big. Very nice on these. Jimmy Buffett parrots out there. I can never think about that. What do they call them? Buffett heads or something? This one's broken. It's like a 
double circle brooch, but it's missing the back. Don't see a mark on it. And more of these roses, pink, kind of like paper roses or silk roses is what those are. There's a, a little old fashioned twist one. That's interesting. Parrot heads, that's what they call them. Yeah, parrot heads. I had some neighbors that did some parties like those. Here's some more 80s stuff, guys. Look at that. What did they call this? Color blocking, I think. In the 80s. This is a magnet. Why is it a magnet? Looks like a magnet back there. I don't know, maybe it had another part. But it looks like that um, copper that they work with. Put acids on and stuff to change the color. I'm not sure. Okay, we have dangles. We have more earrings here. Yeah, this bag was only $19. And it was a gift from my son. He got me like five jewelry jars. I was so happy. He got these months ago. He just hadn't mailed them. We are trying to figure out a frugal way to mail them. And then we decided, well, it's your birthday. Here you go. <laughs> and I happened to be here. <laughs> these are little buttons. They're like a taupe color with a little bit of an ombre effect into pink there. I sure hope I find this fish. I'm loving it. Oh, look at this, guys. This is a, a dog, a cat. What is this? It's only one. It's so cute. Look at him. I hope we find the other one. He's like dangling there. He's chasing that ball. That's cute. It might be sterling. It kind of looks like it. Or maybe just that really nice tin. Can you guys see that? That is so cute. I like that one. Got a crazy feather. Earring. We got the other cougar or whatever it is, tiger. Oh, that's nice. I think I could sell these on Etsy. Everybody's wearing these big old, uh, we used to say ghetto licious. I don't know if we can say that anymore, but I'll say it anyway. Earrings. These are awesome. They're huge hoops with some tigers on them. Yeah, tigers do well. Every time I put, on, put some tiger jewelry up for sale, it sells. Okay, we did get the other cat. He just needs a hook. So that's nice. Very nice. They are to wear on a leather coat with a magnet. Oh, is that it? Oh, I lost my fish. It went down my shirt. There it is. Okay, that sounds in, that sounds about right. A lot of these earrings are broken, guys. You can tell they've lost their backs. They were glued at one time. What is this? Okay. This has like a little cutout, and these feel like some kind of natural element, and I don't know what it is. But that's pierced. That is actually open right there. So I don't know if it's carved or what. They kind of feel like wood, but they kind of sound like ceramic. So I'm not sure what that is. More of these little screwback types, very old, vintage with the little twist back. These are also a twist back in silver, one so far. And what is this? This is broken, bent anyway. I have to fix that one here and there. Okay, these are really old, I can tell too. Pierced earrings, it says. They're little chains, like little S chains. Remember those really shiny? Kind of like what I'm wearing right now, that kind of chain. And someone made a little turtle out of this seashell thing, I think. That's cute. little brooch shaped like a turtle, designed like a turtle there. That's really cute. Okay, this is cool. This is a piece of something. I just can't tell what. <laughs> Either jade or venturine. Look at the setting on it, too. And it's only one, but it's actually an earring. I thought it might be a tie pin. But it's really an earring. Look at the setting on it. Can you guys tell what that is? Could be jade. It's starting to look like jade to me. A little. It's very um, 
fibrous is the only word I can use to describe. When I look at jade, it's like fibrous. Okay, these are cool. Are they limes? Okay, it's like little bead work here. And they look like little limes. I don't know. <laughs> Ceramic with a really nice, um, almost atomic looking design there. There's ceramic, they've got a gold little symbol there. Design, and they are clip. I don't know if those were handmade or what. I don't know, but that glue looks a little old or something. Thanks again for hitting that thumbs up, guys. You just have to leave the screen for a minute. There is some red boxes over here. You can hit subscribe there. You can activate the bell there. And then in the middle, there's some thumbs. Put the one that's hitting up, pointing up, and hit it hard. Here's another screw back. This one's missing a lot of little stones. So there are definitely some broken things here. A little ceramic one. Let's see what else is falling out of this. Poor bottoms. Okay, what am I doing? A little slinky, a mini slinky thing. We got a palm tree with a moon. That is so cute. These earrings are like storytellers here. Look at this. We have a moon and a star and a palm tree on this one. All together on one earring. That's so cute. And they're purple to boot. There's the enamel part too. It's, that's a nice earring. I like that one a lot. And this is a piece of leather or something. There's some hoops. These are gold tone. They're nice, though. They need a little cleaning, but they look like gold tone. Yeah, for $19, it looks like you put, couldn't fit very much in here, but it does. Here's a little brooch. It's wood with some enameling on there, like just little, almost like they were burnt and then painted. So that's interesting. And, yeah, this is a slinky earring. Or is it part of another earring? This is crazy. No, this is another earring. This one's cute. Like a leaf with a dingle. Then what else do we have? Okay, why is this little slinky here? It's a bracelet? Yeah, I guess it's a slinky bracelet. I don't know. Here's a cuff. Is this an ear cuff with a crazy ugly feather? I think it is. It's a peacock feather. It's on a cuff right there. I guess you could replace the feather. But the feather also has, this is crazy. The feather also has a little stud. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure about what's going on with that. Someone's still texting me. Here's an old earring too. Kind of lavender. And... These old ones are so interesting, guys. Look, this one looks like it's missing a stone in the middle, and it is a twist. And then, what is this? More of these little tiny hoops that might be sterling. Often these are. Hmm. This is part of a necklace, I think. Looks like it's missing a piece and it has a jump ring. And then these are just a bunch. I think somebody was going to make wine IDs or something. That's what they look like. Like someone was going to make them for their wine glasses. Lots of those are in here. Or maybe a necklace. I don't know. Quite a few in here like that. These earrings look vintage too. They have like a he-she bead. And there are two of them. These right here. I know. These bags are they never fail to intrigue me, even if they have junk like this. They're just really interesting. Like, I can't figure out this hoop, but I think I found the mate. It's a, it's a winged rat. I don't know, but it's a big loop hoop. Interesting stuff. I think this is a bead of fruit or something there. Can I see something marked here? No. I think these are the ID things for 
for wine glasses. And then those are those earrings we found a minute ago. Put them aside. More crystal-like earrings with dangles. These are not sterling, but they are matched. Hoops. Oh, what is this? A brooch. This is pretty. Some kind of uh, antique instrument. A mandolin. Is that what that is? It's got blue stones and some other rhinestones. There's some discoloration on it. It is riveted as well. So that's a little vintage brooch there. Oh my gosh, this one says what on it? B I Bingo. <laughs> it says bingo on. <laughs> and they're clip on. And I think someone just made them. Yeah. Bingo. Somebody's going to the bingo. Okay. That would be fun. We have some more twist. These are kind of a nautical look for the rhinestone. These kind of look like sterling to me with CZs. Very nice. How's the stream going, guys? I haven't even asked you guys. Is it um, buffering or anything? I know mine always does that at, at home. I haven't really. Oh, I love these. These are little crowns. So cute. Look at that teeny earring. That's darling. It's just a little crown. You can't even see it. When I hold it too close, it actually blurs it out. It's going good. Wonderful. Bingo earrings, right? I should. It'll bring me luck. Well, we did bring a match on these. These are matched. They're the old-fashioned twist. That's nice to have a match. Uh, this one was matched to the beads. And then here's another. These are really nice vintage earrings. These are clipped, too. I like this design a lot. Little dangle on that and black. They are prong set as well. So that's really nice. I showed you the match on that. Here's some red ones. Here's some more pink little studs there. And um, I think red, white, and blue ones. It's missing. Here's some more of these wooden ones. These aren't quite as big as the fuchsia. But they're really pretty in rose pink. Looks like they need a little cleaning, but they're pretty. Like those. Here's another big earring. Very nice. This is $18. Why? What are they made out of? They're clip. I don't know what happened here. Oh, it's got some kind of a stone in the middle there. I don't know what it is. And they put them on twist backs too, which is interesting. These look a little like the Sopata ones that I found that someone told me they were Sopata that were actually Peridot. I don't know if these are the same type. They really look like it though. And the mark for, Sil for the Sopata was actually on the hook. It was the tiniest thing ever. And if it hadn't been for one of my subscribers, I would not have known. So I really appreciate your, hi, Miss. Ms. Gata, I'm so glad you're here. Your comments are always so helpful. Look at this gorgeous little egg pendant, guys. It's wood, and it's painted all around. Isn't that precious? So that would sit fairly big, fairly nice size. I saw that through the back. I thought this was really cool. That is wood, little egg. I like the egg shapes. Always oh, fun. Here's another twist. This one has all the stones. I don't have my loop, so I don't even know what it says. If it says anything, I don't see anything. They're kind of a brown stone, and they are a twist back. Oh, another twist back. This one's enameled, kind of a painted rose there. That's really pretty. Also a twist back. These are the tiniest earrings I've ever seen, and they are pierced. They're clips, guys. Look at these tiny things. They're little flowers and they're clip-ons. There's two in there. <laughs> that is tiny. Definitely vintage. Okay, we got the atomic thing here. 
matched up. We got some Donna Dormagard non -aller allergic rhinestone posts there. What else is in here? Oh, this is like a Christmas bell, but it's beaded. It's actually beaded with a gold little clamper there, or whatever it's called. This is a cute earring, too. This one, oh, it goes like that. Okay, it's a rhinestone with little chains, little dangle. Hope we find that one, too. It looks like they probably did match everything up in here. They're just scattered. We did get the little purple palm tree matched up with the star, and I think that's the moon as well. That is so cute. I love that. Thank you guys so much for being here. We got some loose beads in here too. What does this say? It's a jean button, Union Bay. That's an old brand. These are twist back too. These are darling. Lots of these earrings, guys. Look at these beads on here. Earth tones. Very nice. Here's another one. I did see this one, another twist. Lots of vintage earrings for sure. And uh, here is a clown or a jester or something. He's got pearls on his skirt or her skirt there. Prancing around, enameled. Lots of wear on it. But there it is again. These are hearts that are enameled as well. They're pretty. Really tiny little earrings. And they are on a gold tone studs there. We got a snowflake pendant. I don't think it's sterling. Oh my gosh, that little shamrock is still going, guys. I gotta turn it off. There it goes. Turn to save the battery on that one. Okay, here's a broken pin. But it could have been a bead or something, because look, it has like two holes there. A little bit of wear on it too. We have a coconut shell butterfly. And lots of these broken ones. I showed you those a little while ago. Let me see. This was an ice follies brooch. She's an ice skater. Oh, is it? Thanks, Don. Don is so smart when it comes to some of these things. I don't know how you know so much about all this jewelry and you don't even like it, Miss Don. <gasps> this one's cute too. She just knows about collecting. She's a smart girl out there. This is like a mosaic mother of pearl on a clip. So cute. You found a Tiffany bracelet in a jar. What would you do to verify if it's real? Take it to Tiffany. Take it to Tiffany. Tell them you want it clean. Tell them you want it engraved. Tell them anything. They'll recognize it as fake or not. Okay, this is a dolphin. I don't think it's real sterling. It's really pretty though. And um, and we did get a match on this one. This is crystal or glass. This one right here is pretty. And then here's some, I don't know, chains, kind of antiqued with little rhinestone dangles too. Hope you can see that. Just a hoarder. There you go. Me too. We got a penny. I got some copper beads. Well, I think those are plastic though. These are pretty. These look like almost like a, what do you call it, galaxy look. But I don't think they are, but they have really pretty deep blue. And then they have like these little, see those designs on there? And again, I'm sorry about the lighting down. So we're just here in my son's office, guest room, kids room. <laughs> and I'm just using my phone, my phone's flashlight as a light. See, I told you they were doing the little wine IDs. Oh, you do? This one's aged too, but the pearls are still there. These are like little chain beads. There's quite a few of those in there. Here's another cute brooch. I think it's missing a baguette, but the pin is there. It's riveted, and it's a giraffe. That is so cute. I never see giraffes. They're so underrepresented. Right? Tigers. You see tigers and bears and turtles, but giraffes? Oh, look at these. 
the seahorse. This is a brooch too. This is cute, but it's got a chain around it. Oh, it's a mermaid in there. This is precious. But there's also that chain in there from the cuff earring. Let me just get it out of the way and I'll show it to you so we don't waste too much time. Look at this, guys. It's the seahorses and then she's swimming right there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this. This is pretty. She's clad in pink and well, pink hair. Her body is blue. Her tail is she is her tail missing? Yeah, it looks like they chopped off her little tail. She got caught probably in a net or something. Poor thing. Look at that, but it's still so cute. And look at the seahorses are pink and blue. That's a vintage piece if I ever saw it. Oh, it's so cute anyway. Very cool. Too bad she's missing her tail. Okay, we got the little, almost looks like a pasty or something. I don't know what that is, but it's very fancy. Still, was that Siri? Now Siri's bugging me. Oh my gosh. I tell you. All right, these are cute. These almost look like real gold to me. I'm going to definitely look at these because it looks like a pearl is genuine in there. It's got that serpentine chain that was so popular. In the 70s, it's definitely a real pearl. It does have the entire stud gold colored. If I had my loop, I'd look at it, but I don't have my loop with me. I can't believe I didn't bring a loop. I have to look. So I want to go to the thrift store and I need to have something. Well, I can use my phone. Got some little earrings here. <laughs> Doesn't it though, Kathleen? That's what it reminded me of. I don't even think they wear those anymore. This is an interesting little earring. It's a cross and it's kind of a tortoise shell look, but I think it's glass. And we have another, some of these are so dirty. They really need to be cleaned. Look at that one. Little pearl, I mean, bead I, I saw this from the bag this is gorgeous it's not it might be one of those interchangeable ones through the earrings either way with a little with a little um what do you call it bail you could make it a pendant be pretty but it'd be nice to get the other one and turn them into earrings more of these satin ones we found these in the other colors too so these are nice I think these are white. They have pink and blue, I think, so far. Oh, thank you, Miss Bennett. I appreciate it. These are white satin. We had pink and blue so far. Look at this tiny little. Oh, my gosh. This one's not missing the stones. It looked like they were missing, guys, but they're like a taupe. At the points, they're like a taupe color, and then they are kind of diamond colored otherwise. Some of them might be dead, I guess. Maybe that's why they look a little dull. But this is the teeniest of brooches as well. Vintage brooch. Wow, that is tiny. Look at that. It's super small, just really, really small. He was the, the flight. Oh, my flight was fabulous, but I didn't fly, I drove. My trip was fabulous. I did not fly. We drove. I was so excited to finally drive because we had so many things to bring to my son. And um, he had these bags to give me. <laughs> so it's been really fun. See, this is one of the interchangeable ones. We got the two top sets for these. And then this is Mother of Pearl. I hope the other one's in here. And then we got another set of the gold. But I don't know how many interchangeable things we have for them, but they're cute. This is um, Osco or Costco. Could this be Costco or Osco? I don't know, but it was a multitude of, of different earrings. There's some burgundy ones here. Yes, it was 15 hours. Well, the map said 15 hours, but we stopped all the time. So it took us about 16 and a half hours. We did a whole lot of stopping. We were not in a hurry and um, yeah, we were drinking lots of water and snacking to stay away. My daughter and I drove the last five hours. My husband drove the first 10. 
And really, he didn't drive. He thought we were going to, you know, wind up in New York or something. I don't know. He didn't trust us very much, but we did okay. Okay, I think these are also to interchange because, look, they don't have anything. So I guess you could dangle them on some hoops. They're just on a chain here. Four dollars. They're very nice. They're crystal. These are pretty. These would be really nice maybe on a short, like a hugger hoop and dangle that. And they're Rivoli. Those are cool. These are super nice. I like this. Okay. Here's a purple metal earring. Yeah, it was a long drive, but it was very nice. I really, really did enjoy it. Never have driven to Chicago. Uh, I think the longest drive I've ever had is to Florida. And my sister drove most of that. Oh, we did get the other fish. Awesome. And they're not broken. Oh, these are so cute. I'm so glad we found these. And these were by, what do they say? They say Genevieve Fashion Earrings. Have you guys ever heard of that brand? I never have. They are so, so cute. Genevieve is what they say. Look at that. I love them. I'm really into the, to the gold tone. Those are pretty, they're not really heavy either, and they are little hooks. Super nice on those. I love those. All right, we got a cow. It says cow. It's not a cow. It's a cat. It's a little coin, I guess, a little trinket you can carry around. It says cat lover. Looks like pewter. It's cute. Really pretty. That is so cute. These are enamel. What did I drop? Oh, it fell behind the computer. I can't find it right now. I have to look. This is enamel gold and blue and green. Little hugger clips. Yeah, these are clip ons. Those are cool. These are long, mother of pearl dingles. Really nice. Don't know if we have a match. We did get the match on the cross, so that's nice. The one that looks like tortoiseshell. Most of these are matched, I'll have to say. They really are. These are white dingles. That's another thing I like about this place, that they do their bags in kind of like themes. So you, if you don't like watches, they usually put their watches all in one bag. These are ivory. I saw them from the bag, and uh, yeah, I was telling my daughter and all those are genuine ivory because they were super popular in the 70s with their 14 karat gold wire. And she said, well, I guess it's it's best that you just, you know, since an animal died for these, that you just stop them off the market right there and get them better than winding up in a in a trash heap, honestly. Right? That's what she said. Since an animal was sacrifice it's really a shame that these would wind up in a trash heap but yeah i have um, i used to have some small ones like this and so i know all about it and i also they used to sell these at the mall a lot the thrift store i mean at the just the regular stores at the malls so i know this is a 14 karat gold wire it just they just twist it all around i had a dome ring like this this is a probably a one inch hoop and I don't know if they make the posts in gold or not. They may, I forgot. But I know that the wire is. That's the way that is. And I recognized in the, that in the bag as soon as I saw it. Like I said, these bags are kind of loose. And when they gave me the five bags today, I was like, oh, my gosh. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to post one of the pictures as my thumbnail because my husband was taking my picture as I was looking at the five bags. <laughs> I did not expect to get them. But I had forgotten, honestly. Oh, here's a, is this, I thought it was a fish. It's a little brooch. So there were some brooches here too. A leaf brooch with rhinestones. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I do appreciate it. And here's some more. Ooh, this is a big one. I thought it was two stuck together. It's a one big earring. And we do get, did get the match on this really nice enameled one. That was blue. This is gorgeous, and it's a twist back. And you can get the converters. I've never used them. I've seen them to convert these to clip or to 
what do you call it? Pierced. More button ones. These, I don't know. I guess you could put them. Somebody put them right here on an old clip-on. Look, I just wore these like that, and those are cute. But you could also put them on a stud. They, these are gold tone. It was a very long trip indeed. I think these are copper. They are. They need a little cleaning. They're copper hoops. Uh, butterfly. That was an earring too. Here's the match to the other one. I'm going to have to really look at this one because it really looks like those Sopata one. And they had told me they were Peridot. They really look just like it, but the other ones I had were Peridot and Blue Topaz together. So we do have a match on these. They may be the Sopata ones. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check because I said that mark was right there on the hook itself. So it was tiny. Ooh, this is a nice one. Kind of an antique look. Blue stones. Isn't that cute? Get it off the market exactly. Those poor elephants were brutally sacrificed for humans. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I, well, I don't sell them. I have found several pieces. I've given them away. I gave a bangle away once in a giveaway. Uh, you can't sell them. They're totally banned from the market. So you can't, unless you can produce, um, this is turquoise in here. And it looks like sterling beads as well. Unless you can produce the documents saying how old they are before the ban period. That's the only way you can sell them. So I don't even bother. I just keep them. I just keep them. Here's the match to this one. So that was nice. What is this? It's like a big, heavy, I don't know, bearing, I guess. Metal thingy. And we did get the little green one that I told you was by itself in that other one. It had its card. I don't know if it's, I mean, this is probably adventuring or something. That one doesn't look like Jade to me. For the lampshade. <laughs> Let me see if I see anything else that popped out of here. Oh, that's a nice one. Lots of clip and... Oh, twist back. Here's a pair that's matched up. What do these look like? A little black. These look like sterling and they look, no, one of them looks like onyx and the other one has like a old diamond stud. Did it come off? I guess it came off. Loose beads here, some wire, some neck, necks, or what do you call them? Tidbits, I call them. Oh, here's a little gold thing, like a little heart. It looks like it's missing the bail, but it has a pearl. I could swear that's a genuine pearl. It's probably gold filled or gold plated. I don't know. I don't see a mark of my, my thing either. Some kind of pink rhinestones in there. We got two mother of pearl. They are heavy. These would look good with just plain gold, too, instead of this. Just, I don't know, but you'd have to put it pretty big. No, you'd have to just do this, I guess. Because it would take a really big um, bail or jump ring. But, yeah, they're little shell shells, mother of pearl shell. Nice. Nice to get the match on these. Hey, Miss Liz, how are you? Liz, she loved the jewelry bag that you made for her my granddaughter that was so sweet of you and that was a lot of fun we put it on her doll and everything we had a good old time yesterday with that here's an enamel santa guys and he is sterling marked i don't know what what he is but he looks like he's sterling i see some marks behind him Let's see he's cute they put him on a little paper clip he was probably an earring He's very cute. This is a broken earring, but it's a nice look, too. Kind of green stones on there. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you leave. I do appreciate you being here. We will open another jar. I do have some recorded ones. from. I recorded them last week or two weeks ago, even, because I knew I was going to have 
some time away, but I could not resist bringing you this live one since there was a few here to do. Here's another piece of abalone. And so I decided to do that. Okay, here's the ones we were looking at that were 97 cents. She says, those have to be from the 60s. And I said, yeah, and the color alone, and then those hooks. And those hooks are so much nicer. I wish they would use those now. They don't come off like they do these days. That really pretty lime color, right? So those are definitely vintage. Cool. And like I said, most of these are matched. So stay tuned to, to the channel because I will be putting up some recorded videos of some jars that I got in Houston from my hoards in Houston. And those will go up as well. These are kind of acrylic, guys. They are actually marked. What do these say? Germany? These look like they say Germany. They're blue. This one's missing a piece, but I think it's in here. I think the middle part came off. They look like acrylic, and they're supposed to be green on green, but this is a lighter green. Then on the inside, it's like an emerald green. Oh, I got a rock. I think it's an agate. It is drilled. Kind of a brown agate. Can you guys see that? These lights are playing havoc with me right now. Yeah, kind of a polished agate there. It was probably a dangle on a necklace or something. What is this? This is some terracotta in here. Throwing everything in here. That happens too. Right? You know it does. All right. If I find anything that came out of all these tidbits, I'll let you guys know. But thanks so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. This was a great, great find. Here's a, I thought it was a turtle. It's the same Santa. Uh, I, I love it. I didn't find it. It was a gift from my son. He got me, him and his wife got me a few bags and including this tiny little bag of sterling silver. And I'll show you that in another one. This is an exciting bag. I cannot believe they paid $14 for it. You're going to die. I almost died when I looked inside of it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all very, very much. Have a wonderful week. Be safe. And sound and I'll see you back with a recorded video and then I'll bring you another live when I do the other jars. Blessings to all of you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.